ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعين به ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله تعالى وخير الهدي هدي سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار brothers and sisters allah almighty had prescribed in the quran in this verse in surah at-tawbah ayah number 40 الا تنصروه فقد نصره الله اذ اخرجه الذين كفروا ثاني اثنين اذ هما في الغار اذ يقول لصاحبه لا تحزن ان الله معنا فانزل الله سكينته عليه وايده بجنود لم تروها وجعل كلمه الذين كفروا السفلى وكلمه الله هي العليا والله عزيز حكيم التوبه فيرس نمبر 40 Allah says, unless you support and aid Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah Almighty will support him. Yet the disbelievers, they have driven him out of Mecca. And they were both together. That is the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Sayyidina Abi Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anh. Ith yaqulu, the verse continues to say, Ith yaqulu li sahibihi la tahzan inna Allah ma'ana. Before that, Idhuma Filgar, as they are hiding in the cave, he looked at his companion, that is the Prophet Muhammad, looking at Abu Bakr as Siddiq. He said to him, Do not worry, Allah is with us. Allah Almighty had bestowed his peace and tranquility on the Prophet Muhammad and Abu Bakr as Siddiq. وأيده بجنود لم تروها and Allah had supported the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم with army of angels that are unseen وجعل كلمة الذين كفروا السفلى and Allah had made the word of the disbelievers at the bottom وكلمة الله هي العليا and the word of Allah is high by Almighty Allah عز وجل والله عزيز حكيم Allah is almighty and all wise. And in another verse in the Quran, in Surah Al-Anfal, إِذْ يَمْكُرُ بِكَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لِيُثْبِتُوكَ أَوْ يَقْتُلُوكَ أَوْ يُخْرِجُوكَ وَيَمْكُرُونَ وَيَمْكُرُ اللَّهُ وَاللَّهُ خَيْرُ الْمَاكِرِينَ Which means, and when those disbelievers who plotted against you, Muhammad, to restrain you, that is to capture you, or kill you, or evict you from Mecca, but they plan, and Allah plans, and Allah is the best of all planner. Brothers and sisters in Islam, by Sunday we will commence into a new year of Hijrah, that is the year of 1446. So us as Muslims, when it comes to the end of the year, it is the time to review, not to celebrate, but to evaluate our actions in our relationship with Allah throughout the past year. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, when his wife Aisha was asked about what kind of behavior or whatever, what type of a person he is, she said, كَانَ خُلُقُهُ الْقُرْآنِ He is, his behavior is basically the Quran. A moving Quran in the society wherever he goes. And Allah Almighty has commanded us, 
to teach and learn from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu and do as he said and prevent ourselves from what he told us to prevent from doing. ما أتاكم الرسول فخذوه وما نهاكم عنه فانتهوا whatever the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم has commanded you to do you do it and what he commanded you to prevent yourself from doing it you abstain from doing it brothers and sisters in Islam as the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم moved his actions were more effective than words their effect on people are more just lectures and speeches. And that was the task of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and even the Prophets before. They reflected their belief in their action wherever they are in the society they moved in because people get affected in what they see more than what they hear. Brothers and sisters, perhaps most of you know the story of the migration of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu from Mecca to Medina. And all the forces of evil in Mecca were against him, yet he moved towards Medina. And from that, the story or the fact that happened in the history of Islam puts us back when we commence into a new Muslim Hijri year to remember the migration of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and learn from his lesson and know that the seerah of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is the reflection of Quran in action. The seerah of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, the life of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is basically the Quran in action. Therefore, if you one day listen to a khutbah or you listen to a lecture and you were inspired and that inspiration did not lead you to change, did not lead you to go out and move, did not lead you to go and interact with the society around you, and did not lead you to have some sort of emotions to your Muslim brothers and sisters around the world or everywhere in the world if they are suffering. If these inspirations you learn from lectures or from khutbah or does not change you or does not make any reaction, therefore your faith is questionable. Because Islam is dynamic. Islam is not static. Islam makes you move out of the masjid to change around the world you. It does not let you stick in the masjid and close the closet on yourself and sit like this and watch. And this is the main reason what we say nowadays. Two billion Muslims gave their backs on Muslims suffering various wars in the world where Muslims, we don't see their action because the misunderstanding and the lack of reaction between them and the Quran and the life of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, does not the mix, make the person go out and move and change the environment around him to become a reflection of the Quran as the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was and described by his wife. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the Hijrah, the migration from Mecca to Medina by the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is a physical action. Faith is physical. Islam is physical. It's dynamic. Your action is dynamic. And by action, Allah puts the blessings in yourself and in the world around you and in your family. Islam is not negative. It's not by only observation and feeling good about yourself and remaining in the same place you are. It requires you to be part of the society you are in. It requires a contribution from, your, from yourself towards the community you are in. It, it, it requires you to seek ways and means to uplift the Muslim society around you, whether in this country or your country somewhere else. But you have to have a role in the Muslim world. You are living it. You are not just a number. You are a Muslim who is following the footsteps of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and act as the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and change the society that you are in as the Prophet Muhammad وسلم. This is the reality of faith in the heart of a believer. It is action, and a, a, a believer with no action is a dead believer more than a lively Muslim. 
أقول ما تسمعون واستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان يوم الدين Brothers and sisters, we are at a difficult time. Muslims are suffering everywhere in the world. That requires that you and I should take a proactive and reactive feeling and experience towards our Muslim world and community and our families and the world around us. Therefore, if you and I feel that we are not reactive, or there is no contribution from myself towards my family, the community, the world that I'm in, it is about time for you and I to review our faith, to review the lifestyle we are living in, to review the type of homes we live in, to review about who we are in reality outside the masjid in the world we live in, to review what kind of source of income are we getting in our own homes, is it halal or haram? To review, are we contributing towards changing the walls of the Muslim, donating to charitable organizations that help lift the misery from Muslims worldwide? Because Islam requires you to be dynamic rather than to be static, to a person, to be a person of action, not a person who is frozen in his space. Imam ibn al-Qayyim, as I remind you in the beginning of the khutbah, as we commence by Sunday into the new Muslim year, Muslims in the past review their actions at the end of the year. And it is basically even in businesses, the end of the year performance, those who have business, they sit with the accountant and see what is the end year result. How do we perform? How does the company perform? Did we make money? Did we go at last? Also you and I, we do not celebrate, we evaluate what we have done in the year before. Al Imam Ibn al Qayyim says, one of the methods of reviewing and evaluating yourself is to check your performance in the duties of Islam in the past year. And if there were any shortfalls, you immediately try to fix. Also, you evaluate yourself by fixing these errors in re repentance, tawbah to Allah Almighty. The other one is in istighfar, asking Allah for forgiveness. And the third one is to build up more score by doing good deeds to cover up the failures and the mistakes that you have done in the past. For example, let me show you. Last year, you and I, we had 1,800 prayers throughout last year. Ask yourself, and I ask myself, how many of these prayers did we pray them on time? How many of these 1,800 prayers did we pray in Jama'ah? How many of these 1,800 prayers did we miss out? Last year, we had 1,800 opportunities to enter into paradise. And that is, as the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu told us, after each prayer, when you sit down and read Ayat al-Kursi, this is a place where you enter paradise. Did you read it or you missed 1,800 opportunities? 1,800 opportunities where your prayer could have been accepted after each Adhan. How many opportunities have you taken throughout last year where your dua is accepted after the Adhan the immediately? 1,800 times where the takbirat al-ihram in the jama'ah and the masjid, were you able to be to perform the prayer before the iqama of the prayer, before takbirat al-ihram or not? Or you were late in your prayers? 12 times the least or the minimum, you should have finished the Quran once a month. Or at least you have a schedule of finishing Quran. You know how many times? Okay, some can finish 12 times every month, but are you following up yourself how many times you have finished the Quran last year or not? 
360 opportunities, 360 opportunities of their day and night supplications. Adhkar al-Sabah wal masa how many you missed out as the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu taught us? There is morning supplications, dua, and the evening dua. We should say every time. Have you done all of them throughout the year or you missed some of them? 360 opportunities you have missed out in building home for yourself in paradise. That is in the sunnah, that is after the prayers. Every time you do it, you build a home for yourself in paradise. How many lectures have you attended last year in your performance? Do you remember or not? How many halaqas of Quran have you sat in order to perform or to perfect your reading of the Quran? Have you done so or not? How much money did you donate for charities throughout the last year? All of these questions, brothers and sisters, have to come in mind as we are, and you and I are lucky because the next year hasn't started. So if we try to fix in these few days all these things, we can boost our grades and performance in order the score of last year becomes high and to become winners. I ask Allah Almighty to bless us and all Muslims to become better next year in our performance and in our faith. And I ask Allah Almighty to make us effective Muslims who are dynamic in the society. And to remember always that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is a moving Quran wherever he is in his behavior. A good person in the masjid is a good person outside the masjid, is a good person in the marketplace, is a good Muslim in his, in his home, he in his factory, in his farm, everywhere else. اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات المسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك سميع مجيب الدعوات اللهم اغفر لنا ما قدمنا وما أخرنا وما أسرنا وما أعلنا واغفر لنا ولجميع المسلمين يا رب العالمين اللهم شاف مرضانا وعاف مبتلانا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين اللهم من أراد بالإسلام والمسلمين خير فوفقه لما فيه خير ومن أراد بالإسلام والمسلمين شر فاجعل شره في نحره وتدميره في تدميره اللهم عليك باليهود ومن والاهم بالسر والعلانية رب لا تبلغهم آية ولا ترفع لهم راية واجعلهم لمن خلفهم آية يا رب العالمين اللهم انصر اخواننا المجاهدين في سبيلك في كل مكان اللهم عليك بأعداء الإسلام والمسلمين في كل مكان اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدينا ولجميع المسلمين يا رب العالمين عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء القربة وإن عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون